Hey Virgos, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general read. This is for the week of February 6, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. We are recording live today on YouTube. So scroll to the bottom if you're looking for that chat room. Okay, Virgo, a couple of energies, several energies around you that may or may not resonate this week. Taurus, Cancer, Aquarius, and Capricorn. So yeah. A lot of people surrounding my Virgos this week. It is a week about a good business deal. It's also a week of new money and good luck and abundance. Also, it's showing that it's time for you guys to make some decisions that you've been putting off for way too long, as well as some intensity and the love life. Now, I am not extending readings today, but because, you know, we are kicking off the month of February, I will be doing... Um, Love Reads for each sign in the Members Only section, which you can find that information in the description box below this video or visiting YouTube's channel homepage under um, Join. All right, Virgo, what we have going on for you this week, okay? We have the Seven of Wands, and this is a Zen card. It says you've been taking care of you. You've been putting a lot of focus on you. You've been uh, concentrating on you, your work, your physical appearance, things of that nature. You just haven't been bothered with anything else. And because of that, love kind of sneaks in. There is the Four of Wands with the relationship card. Now, this is going to be very significant for my singles out there that you could be looking at something that could be the one. The one that leads to something of the long term. And if I've got Virgos out there in a relationship, well, it's time to level up. Okay. It is time to level up that, you know, you move forward and, you know, we're talking about engagements, commitments, living together, things like that. So Eight of Swords comes in and that is the card of self-imposed restrictions. Hi, Miss Dorothy. And with that, we have the King of Cups. There it is. The big offer. This is no joke, okay? So for my singles out there, uh, male, female, or indifferent, whatever, um, you're looking at king, queen energy is what I'm looking at. So it's going to be something significant. In the center of the reading, we have judgment, okay? Twofold for my Virgos. Stop passing judgment on someone too quickly. You're going to be wrong if you do. And we have the magician trumping your entire reading. What did I say? You get what you want. This is good luck and abundance. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is the highest card in the deck. It says you get everything you want and desire. It's right there on the table before you. And we have the three of swords. And that three of swords says, you know, um, three is a crowd. Third person, I want advice and or opinions. Three is a crowd. And we have... <clears throat> the two of wands travel plans coming up some of you guys i really i'm thinking out of state out of state you're going out of state okay and we have the lovers <clears throat> just to back up that what i'm saying there is some intensity in the love life now let's move forward here <clears throat> after this reading i'm gonna take about a 30 minute break i'll be back 2 p.m eastern time uh, as y'all tell my voice is starting to crack a little bit and I think I've got some fruit lozenges around here somewhere i got to find. Okay, so we have strength card. Strength on your side, no matter what you do. We also have the lovers. When I say intensity in the love life, you've got the lovers here twice. We have the king of wands twice. <clears throat> you may be dealing with fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're definitely dealing, like I said, it's a king-queen energy you've got going on here. And here comes the Page of Cups, the unexpected offer of love. And for some of you, a Pisces may resonate. And I hate giving you all the signs because pretty much I've given you half the Zodiac. Okay, there's just a lot of people surrounding my Virgos this week. <clears throat> on the Judgment card, we have the Empress. Someone views you as the Empress, I think, or the Emperor. Uh, it's positive changes on the home front, you know. Uh, it's also the mother card. And then with the magician. I mean, you got the eight of wands. Eight of wands, total happiness, total contentment, love errors flying around, the good luck and abundance on top of the magician. Okay, let's see what we have with this three of swords here. What's up with Virgos and the three of swords? 
Okay, so this may be someone you were involved with before. This shows communication from someone that you have not seen in a long time. We have a love life connection here. And I can tell you they're full of it because it is a third party situation. And we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is coming in. <laughs> I may have to, Harry. Six of Pentacles is coming in and shows there's some financial balance coming in, something to restore your balance. I think some of you are recovering from a major repair or something. So something comes in to recover you there. And then we have the Two of Wands. Two of Wands says the sun shines brightly in all that you do. This is a pretty strong reading from our Virgos. And on the first lover's card, I'm telling you, it's been love, love, love since I started February readings. And we have the Emperor. Okay, there it is. When I am stressing to you the intensity in your love life and you have the lovers twice, and I keep telling you this, here it is, the highest, the highest couple in the deck. The Emperor and the Empress. It appears in Virgo. All right, and your bonus card. Bonus card says Four of Swords. Four of Swords says the calm before the storm. Get the rest while you can. And I mean that literally, like literally take some downtime and rest. All right, guys, I think, Virgo, you've got one of the best reads out there, to be honest. Good luck and abundance getting everything you want. Trump by the magician. Looks pretty strong to me. All right, I'm going to take a break. I will be back at 2 p.m. Eastern, and we're coming back with Libra. So you guys, join me then. I'm going to spruce up my coffee.